Hi, folks. Welcome to another edition of Jason Mariner. It's only a game. And I'm joined by the legend, the legend that is Jason Mariner. Now, it's been a few weeks, Jason. People were worried. They thought we'd fallen out. They thought we didn't care anymore. What happened? We fell out and we don't care anymore. No, <laughs> no. I um, I mean, for two and a half listeners, you know, I mean, I don't want to say it, but I got that dreaded um thing that stopped the world. Yes. Right? But to be truthful, Liam, you know what? For four days, seriously, I didn't even come out of the room. I couldn't move, mate. I was in, I was in a bad way. Right? <laughs> but listen, there's a flow in it. Blah, blah, blah. It took me about two and a half weeks to be truthful. I just couldn't shake the last bit off. But do you know what? To be truthful, there's been a little bit of a bat over here. But look, it is what it is. Um, I'm a million times better. I'm back on track. And we're going out tomorrow for a light hour. <laughs> there you go. So you haven't got any kind of lingering things going on with you? No, 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 I'm sweet, mate. No, it, it, in all honesty, it was probably like a week, a little bit more, 10 days of not, and then the rest, I just couldn't shake it off. But now it's sweet than that. Just just went, just went, yeah. A lot more happening in the world than, than worried about me with a poxy bit of Danny LaRue. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. You know, people missed you. There was rumours flying everywhere. It was like all over the internet. They've fallen out. They don't care. You know, it was it was a big deal, Jason. Yeah. Big in, deal. in fairness, so I have had a few people in the Instagram, this, that, and the other, but what's happening, mate? And they miss it. And it, and it, so it's actually quite nice that, you know, people, you, yeah. you know what I mean? You have a bit of banter, and that's all it is, as we say. But anyway. I want to read this uh, thing. I've got a very nice uh, uh, email or whatever, text uh, from uh, right. a guy called Keith uh, Joyce, and he said he contacted you over 10 years ago <clears throat> to play in a charity football match uh, for me uh, against an ex-Arsenal pro team, um, and Jason travelled to the Midlands to play on a Sunday afternoon, uh, and the game was in the aid of his niece, Katie, who was suffering from neuroblastoma at the time. So you gave your time uh, to this particular match, and you played against the likes of Ian Sully and Lewis uh, Bowen Morty, and this guy wants to thank you, you said, because he, you gave your time and supported the game of the heart. And I'll always be grateful uh, for. But sadly, after the game, uh, my brother got a phone call to get to Great Ormond Street. Uh, and the little girl, Katie, took a turn for the worst and she uh, passed away. And I think it's almost like the anniversary of her death is 10 years ago on the 6th of October. So Keith just wanted to pass that on to you to say to thank you, basically. Do, do you remember that, Jason? <laughs> Played in a pink kit. <laughs> Played in a pink kit. <laughs> Jimmy Carter, I think he used to play for Millwall. I know he, 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 he played and what have you as well. Yeah. I'll tell you who else played. Ralph Little, he played. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, did, the you actor, score, Ralph. did you score a goal, Jace? I don't always score. I don't always score, Liam. I'm, I'm, I'm a ball player as well, son. I'm a ball player. I mean, <laughs> you know. Um, no, I didn't. No, I didn't score. I can't, I can't remember score. But listen, look, I don't mean to be rude, but that that's the least you could do for for someone. Um, you know, it's, what a terrible yeah, they lost her, but bless her young girl. So you see, folks, you know, Jason does have a heart of gold and he does lots of lovely things for for charity that don't actually get, you know, seen a lot. You know, we don't hear about yeah, it. But do you know what? Do you know what that's what I like about certain uh you know, like the looks of Jack Grealish for argument's sake, though everyone wants to give him an hard time and what have you. I'm I'm led to believe behind the actual scenes he does colossal amount for for for, for you know and I, I just think that's great. Then want to give a little bit back? Does it? Do you know what I mean? It's it ain't the end of the world, mate, is it? It's, look, it's, it's it's you know it's nice to be nice, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So but, you know I'll, it's, it's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. You so know? our condolences to the family because it is ten years and, and yeah, I absolutely, yeah, Kevin. The Kate, pain yeah, doesn't yeah. go away. Um, so it's it's, yeah, terrible. Terrible. Well, very I can't remember. I can't remember how I played. Talking about kids, and and I, I saw uh, you did a, a, a rant on your uh, other platforms and all that. That shocking. Sheffield oh, Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday. Wednesday. That was it. Yeah, the Sheffield. Right, but, but listen, we we must make something quite clear here, right? Yeah. All idiots. We've got everyone's got idiots at football. I mean, everyone from Sheffield Wednesday is like they don't come from Sheffield, they come from Wobble. We know that. It's totally irrelevant where they come from. What I can't get about it is right. I mean, all the listen, I've had colossal amount of views on that thing, right? Yes. Yeah. And but you still get, I mean, I'm only to Liam, I'm only talking about 
a dozen or something stupid. But you still get people, are oh, you just jumping on the bandwagon, mate? I said, I said, listen here, you fucking Mongol. I'm a father. And mm-hmm. someone's lost their... Because obviously, if people don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the little Sunderland supporter that was fucking yeah, sadly Bradley. taken away. Do you know what Bradley. I mean? Uh, Bradley. Sorry? Bradley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bradley Lowry, yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, and obviously, the, 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 the so-called fans of... Shepherd Wednesday, but fucking thing. Now, listen, look, I know plenty of Shepherd Wednesday. Look, everyone's got Mongols. You can't help them. And this, and that. But you know, people jumping on like, oh, well, they don't come from Shepherd. Oh, it doesn't, no one cares. You're missing the point. Do you know what I mean? You know, why would you, what comes into your head to do something like that? I've never seen anything. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I and I mean, the guy, the you guy. know, once again, going back to, sorry, what, what yeah. you were talking about earlier, right? Is what well, is was he ever my favourite player and whatever because he played for Tottenham? Of course not, Defoe. But yeah. all of a sudden he really come to the front when it comes to that little kid. Yeah, yeah, he, he was. Do brilliant. you know what I mean? Brilliant. So you know, credit where credit's due. Yeah, such a lovely kid. You know, be a beautiful face and everything like that. And, and never five... had a chance. The kid, the kid never have a chance. But you know, he, he, he's a young kid. You know, listen, I don't mean this rudely. If we go tomorrow, we've had a go, haven't we? Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. This kid ain't he's never had a t- 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 and then and then and then two, okay, one's doing it and one's laughing and this and that. Well neither of it's funny. What in when what end has you had to do that? Oh, I, I think they've been trawled. I think they've been nicked. Yes, right? they, they they have. I think they they were uh... been nicked for what? Been nicked for what? They, you know, it's a made up charge, isn't it? It's like fucking thing, but it's just disgusting that whatever anyway, but listen, not too much doom and gloom, but no. look, at the end of the day, we think of we think of uh the little boy's family and what you know, I mean, now they they ruin the rest of their life. They mm. ruin the rest of their life. They'll yeah. probably get sacked from their job. Their their parents are gonna get crap. They're gonna get crap. But you know, just for a silly little immature thing. And by the way, like because I, I you know, even people said to me, Oh, they're not kids because I said these two kids. It's just a saying. I don't mean they're kids. They're no. grown adults, you know what I mean? They're yeah. fucking Mongols, that's what they are. They're vile, vile Mongols, that's what they are. Uh, and they they said in court, or one of them said that uh, it was just enjoyable banter. Um, you know, I mean, you know, we like banter, and we I like a laugh, and we like to take the piss and this that, and the other. But I think when you're talking about kids with cancer and dying and stuff like that, well, I don't I look, don't look, think look, that's let's, enjoyable. Let's move off the subject to, for for people to for doom and gloom. But I will just say this: I did have someone say to me, "Well, what well, what about you with a Jill Dando joke?" It's exactly what I got there, Mike. Yeah. I said, I think there's a big difference between a Jill Dando, a, a, a grassing bird messing about, she said, a grassing bird and a little kid that's not had a chance to live in life. You know what I mean? You know, one's a joke and one's not funny. Yes. Simple. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, anyway well, let's we'll move, move on. Here, we'll wait, let's move on because it's like in doom and gloom. Absolutely. What did you think? I mean, there's been loads of stuff going on. What did you think about the whole Russell Brand scenario? It's a get up, isn't it? It's a get up. It's just like, you know, because he, cause he's now like, listen, am I a fan of him? Of course I'm not a fan of him. I mean, he couldn't be more left if he if he was. You know, now all of a sudden, 15 years down the line, they all want to come out of work and say, because he's against society. He's like, you know, the freedom of speech is no more freedom of speech. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, look, look, I'm the first to put my hands up if if, if he's found with his hand in the till. What, 15 stretch? <laughs> Now, now you want to come out the woodwork and no one wants to show their face and no one wants to do this and no one wants to do that. And why didn't you go to the old bill? Why why, yeah. why are you going to a, why why are you going to the to the Nancy BBC or wherever they went? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't understand that. And and maybe women would know better and they can correct me on this, but I don't understand. Surely the initial point is going to the police, isn't it, to start off with, you know, <laughs> as opposed to going to the press, uh, if you yeah. go kind of scenario but what i think is funny is all the the, the left wing uh are now you know going mad saying he's a disgrace and yet they were the ones that loved him they loved all him over him the guardian the guardian used to be in bed with him <laughs> miller band he was the, he wanted him to be a sort of uh promote labor yeah. and stuff like that so yeah that is russell do you know i tell you what was funny though i watched i tell you one of my favorite comedians freddie star you know i loved freddie star absolutely yeah yeah I watched some clips of him the other night, and he was... A very talented man. Very talented oh, brilliant. man. Brilliant. I, what a, a comic genius. But he was incredibly physical with the audience. I mean, yes. he 
patching them up, grabbing the backside. To... Oh, <laughs> I know, yeah. And yeah. what's uh, I think there's a thing on YouTube actually, uh, an audience with Freddie Star. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's uh, yeah. What's it's... that? Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, I've I've watched a whole yeah. clip thing the other day of him going going off the stage and going. Well, in the... I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we haven't done this because Liam's been too busy watching Freddie Star <laughs> instead of doing this with me. <laughs> Absolutely, we are just grateful that Jason is well, and that's all good. All right, I mean, there's loads of political stuff going on. I mean, the Lawrence Fox has been, you know, given a right old slapping, hasn't he? Have you seen that on? Yeah, on... I don't really know much about that. I don't know. Right? Yeah, well, he, he did have a go at a woman, uh, but we we can't repeat what he said about the woman. But I mean, it's all you can't. You, I mean, he was a bit out of order. What he said, let's let's be honest. Oh, it, was he okay? Okay, he was out of order. He was he was basically saying that uh, nobody would want to sleep with this particular journalist. But in, <laughs> in well, it's just it's not out of order. That's what he felt. That's what he did. But in, in what other, he felt. He did it in other words. Sort of fantastic. <laughs> I wish I had seen it. He's on G GB News, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was on Jimmy. So that he's yeah. just been uh, suspended, and they've all gone mad. Everybody's saying, "Hey, you can't speak about women like this, and this is a disgrace." Well, I suppose they've even had to say that GB News now about to jump on. Yeah. They can't go. Well, you know, yeah. whereas I'd like to turn around and go, "Well." You know, I'm making right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think yeah, it was what what they call uh, like a bit crass. It was a bit locker room, shall we say? So it wasn't ideal to be saying it on the TV. But you know, people are getting so serious these days. And you can't say anything. Look, look things are look. The, the bottom line of it is this: things are only offensive if you want them to be offensive. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You know, if you're going to... Well, you could look into absolutely everything and cry over two snails going up wall the wrong way. <laughs> fucking hell, get on with it. It's a fucking... Do you know what I mean? It's a but bit I of ban you, banter. I go back to the day. I go back to the day of hen nights. I don't know if... You, obviously, guys don't go to hen nights and stuff like that. But back in the day, when I was a comedian, it wasn't very funny, but I had to compare some of these hen nights and this, that and the other. And I'm telling you, the women go absolutely mad and, you know, there's no restraint there. Bloody hell, honestly, you, you fear for your life the way when all these girls get together, you know? Funny days, yeah. funny days. There you go. Oh, yeah, now the big story a couple of weeks ago when you were lying in your bed, Jason, lying in your bed, um, was that escape from Wandsworth. And then I was thinking, of course, you were you were in, in Wandsworth. Daniel... Yeah. Khalifi or whatever, he strapped himself onto a, a food van, food van uh, exiting the prison. Uh, and uh, one of our people wants to know, did you have any thoughts of escaping from Wandsworth? And did you have anything similar up your sleeve? Although I can't imagine no. you'd fit under a... Do you know what it is? Even, no, I don't, because, like... You just got look. You got you got to get on with it. I was. What are you going to do? Look over. The, listen, it's different for him. I think he's a he's the other mob and he's a terrorist yeah. and all that. Was yeah, it yeah. exactly? You know. So yeah. listen, there's no daylight for him. With me, there's going to be daylight. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you go and get a ten or twelve or four, you know whatever you go and get. Look, it's all it's a lump. It's lump. Six is a lump. Eight is a lump. Fucking a day a day a day too long. Let me tell you, right. But how you got to look at it is there's daylight, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And yeah. what you're going to do, you got to, you know, you're going to have it on your bromlies, so you have it on your toes, and then you've got to look over your... And you just can't... It's it's hard enough as it is, do you know what I mean? So... If you'd had, yeah. had the opportunity, right, and you'd saw, like, there was a, a, you know, a laundry van and you could have dived in the back of it and made an escape, would you have escaped? No. Did you just listen to what I said to you? I mean, it's fucking pointless. I don't know why we have this conversation. No, I'm just saying, if you had, the, you know, suddenly you saw this. Yes, no, what, look, for what? Yeah. For what? For what, what are you going to get at the end of No, look. Don't listen, do you? You're not <laughs> listening, are you? For me, what does it benefit? Look where I am now. Yes, yeah. Right. So yeah. if I had done that, I'd have made the wrong move, wouldn't I? Yes. Quite simple. And I think they would have found me quite easily, to be truthful. You could have mixed into London somewhere, you know. You know. You don't want to mix into London, mate. You want to fucking get out of there. Because <laughs> you want to get out of the country. You don't want to be there. You could have hit... you've got to look at you've got to look at the bigger picture. You can have it on your toes. Mm -hmm. I've got I've got pals of mine, if, if I'm being honest, who have had it on their toes. They can't go to their parents' funeral. 
No. Flip no. on. Yeah. Because they can't go back. You Flip could have been in that garage where I first met you, Jason. Do you remember that? It was your mate's house where we did our first uh, DVD together. That's That'd be a good place to hide, I think. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound good at all, Liam. <laughs> it's early in the morning. It was a dojo. It wasn't a garage. It was a dojo. It's where me and him used to do a bit of, bit of work on the pads, if you remember. It's a dojo. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I remember very well. That's it. Well, I've been hobnobbing with the stars while you've been out. You know, I was... Yeah, it's the type of guy you are, Liam. It's just the type of guy you are. I did a, an important broadcast with Terry Waite. See, so that was that was interesting. So that was interesting about um, this guy called Clive Freeman. Now, this this is also about prison, right? Is that he's been... In, this a guy who's been in there. He, he claims that he didn't commit the crime of, of murder. Okay. And he's he's been in there for 36 years and he's now 80. And they won't let him out because he won't admit to a crime that he didn't. No, that's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, he could have got out 15 years earlier if he'd have said, yes, yes, folks, I actually did it. Even listen, listen, I, I've got to tell you, the man dug his heels in that much. Mm -hmm. he, I, I'm already going down the innocent route with him. I've got to tell you that now. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. I actually know a fella. I actually know a fella. When you get to, you can get to an, uh, a DCAT prison, yeah? Yeah. So you, you have to sign a license to go out every time you go out, yeah? But to, he was in the DCAT, but for him to sign that license to go out is admitting his guilt. He never admitted his guilt, right? Um, Gary Mills, his name, game was, his name was, right? And he was from, he would not leave that open, Nick. He never signed a license. He went eventually, he, and he won his case, mate. He won his case. Uh, that's amazing. I mean, I, I think it's such a difficult thing. Would you have said, oh, all right, I did it? Because, I mean, he's done an extra 15 years, and now he's, he's dying in jail and he's got because cancer. Because the man's old school. The man's old school. Yeah. That's how he sounds to me. He's old school. Yeah. And we would all sit here and say, well, what a waste of your life. What a thing. What this, that, and the other. And would I have signed it? Probably, yes. Let's be honest. Would the majority of our viewers have signed it? Major yes. Mm -hmm. But he is so adamant. He never done it. Why is he signing something? Why is he going guilty on something that he's not guilty of? Yeah. I mean, I don't know the circumstances or the case. But to do 15 years over the top, mate, he says, and let me tell you, he comes out now, where's he going? He don't know. He don't know any different. He's not interested. He, you know, he, he, he put the poor old man will probably die in prison. Yeah, and, and I did ask um, uh, whether he'd get out on compassionate grounds, but but they still don't let you out on compassionate grounds if you don't admit the guilt. So you can't do like a Reg Cray where they let him out. That's right. That's right. Correct. Yeah. So, uh, you know, so he's going to die in, in prison. I mean, uh, it, that's some a brave man. I don't know. Yeah, stubborn. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I'd, I think most of us probably would have signed the thing, wouldn't we? But anyway, that's it on Jason's channel. Jason is back. Remember to watch him on all those other things, TikTok and everything, where you are hugely popular on there, hugely popular. Uh, we're going over to my channel now, and we we shall continue. So we'll see you in a moment, folks.